Hello, Biblical Chili listeners. I have a question for you. How do you grow in your faith? For some of us, that might be a hard question, and I hope to break it down. I personally became a believer when I was 16 years old, and I didn't grow up in a Christian home. And so I didn't really know what it was to walk with the Lord and to grow in my faith. A friend of mine discipled me, and she opened the Word of God and taught me from Acts 2.42. Not sure if you've heard of that, but there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and the New Testament, and then the book of Acts. The book of Acts is what is the Acts of the Holy Spirit, the Acts of the Apostles. When after Christ was raised, what happened to the church? Where did the church start? And it's a great book. In Acts 2.42, it says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' teaching, in fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayer. And those might sound like big words, so I want to break them down. Right before that, 3,000 people had given their life to Christ. 3,000. And they were all new believers. And it says that they got baptized. If you haven't been baptized, think about that. Talk to somebody, ask them about what that means. And then it says these new believers did four things. They gave themselves, they devoted themselves to the word of God, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer, to four things. So let's start with the word of God. Do you have a Bible? If you don't, there's so many free ones online. I have the English Standard Version Bible. It's a free app and you can read all the chapters. Reading in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is a great place to start to see Jesus up close and all that he has done. The second thing, so that's number one, the word of God, fellowship. Do you have a church? Have you gone to church? Do you have support from God's people, a place where you can go praise God with his people? There's a lot of, in Seattle, we're not meeting yet from quarantine. We're not able to meet. So we have messages online. And for youth, there's like Zoom youth group chats you can do. There's zoom college things find god's people that will really help strengthen your faith so the word of god fellowship worship what does that mean have you been somewhere and they're singing songs worship is acknowledging god as god praising him giving him all all of us and one great way to do that is singing maybe there's a christian station you like or a great playlist on spotify or Pandora, any of the places, find a playlist. And the good thing about worshiping and singing is it's really tough to be angry or sad when you're singing, right? And singing worship songs, it's words that maybe you don't have the strength or know what to pray, but you can praise God with words that other people have written and sing along with them. It's one way to really grow in your faith. And the fourth thing is prayer. Prayer is just simple, us talking to God it says in the scriptures that he loves to hear our voice. He longs to be gracious to us. He has blessings in heaven. He wants to pour down upon us. And life's hard, right? You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world. There's scary things. There's fearful things. And the Lord loves to hear our voice. God, I don't understand what's going on right now. Help me understand. Or, God, I'm frustrated with just getting my daily done. Or maybe we're down because we're tired of being at home. He wants to hear all the things on our hearts. He cares for us. He loves us. He wants to spend time. He speaks to us through his word when we open it up and we speak to him in prayer. And that's what I did when I was 16, when I first gave my life to the Lord. I'm 53 now. I'm still walking with the Lord. I'm still spending time in the word of God, in fellowship with his people, in worshiping him, and in prayer. That's what the early believers did. That's what the fellows at Biblical Chili are doing. And it's great that we can share in this beautiful walk with Jesus together. My name is Meg Gleesner, and I'm the host from Letters from Home podcast. And hopefully this is a tool that will help you walk the walk.